Hi, Anthony Cheeseman here. I just wanted to give you five takeaways I've seen from this market so far in September. Number one, where are the buyers coming from? We've definitely seen an increase in interstate, especially from Sydney. Not so much Melbourne, but more from Sydney, which is an interesting fact. But a lot of them are looking to come up here. The Sydney prices are starting getting very insane, and they're starting to see that this is more of a lifestyle for them. We've also seen the Chinese, the international market, definitely the Chinese coming back into the market. A lot of my open homes have definitely seen a lot more Chinese come through, which is a very clear indication that we might be seeing another surge of those type of buyers coming through, which is great. They are looking for something and they're willing to pay the money. So number two, how's the stock levels? Well, they are increasing, obviously because of this time of the market, we're in spring, there's a lot of sellers coming to the market and there's a lot of buyers looking to buy, trying to secure something before Christmas. Number three, price level. We're still seeing the prices actually going up. They're not going up like 25% in 12 months like we've been used to, but they're actually still increasing, even if it's like a few percent over the past 12 months. So when people say, oh, the market's dropped, it actually hasn't dropped, it's just eased. So the values haven't actually gone down, it's just that time on market has changed a little bit, which is changing people's perception of the market. So this brings me to my next point, days on market. At the moment, we've sort of seen, depending on the area you're in, some have actually decreased, but some have increased. So it really depends on the demand in the area at the time. Places like Broad Beach and Main Beach, days on market, they're still pretty quick because they're highly heavily in demand. But other areas away from the beach, we've kind of seen they stay on the market a little bit longer. So it really is coming down to what sellers and and buyers expectations are. And that's what we're seeing with sellers. If they do their market research before they hit the market and do their due diligence and see where the price levels are at, and they sort of stick around that area, especially in auctions, they find they get more pricing and more better price. But when they go up at a big level at the top and have high expectations, what you're doing is you're not attracting the buyers to come through. So you end up just putting it to the side, the buyers, and not bother looking. And by that time, your days on market increase, and then that's where you start dropping your price to the market. But at the same time, the buyers that were there and were really willing at the start just aren't there anymore. So that's why time on market starts to increase. And that brings me to my last point, number five, auctions compared to private treaty. We have definitely clearly seen over the last few years and even in the past before that, that auctions is always the best and most successful form of sale because it gives time for everyone to come through the property and work out their own sort of distinction on where they see value, which gives the sellers time to adjust their price before we go to the public, which means when we have the auction, and where they set their price and their reserve. So auction clearance rates are still very much higher compared to private treaty, nearly a 30% difference there. And you'll see, and obviously the media talks about all the auction success, they don't talk about a private treaty success that much. So they definitely keep an eye on that. The other biggest factor about auctions, as I've mentioned before is, unconditional sales. Because of the banks are really strict on what their borrowing capacity is, there's a lot of contracts falling over in private treaty because a lot of people want to do their due diligence in finance and pest and build, where auction just excludes all of that and they have to have everything in order ready for that date for when you're ready to release the property at auction. Again, that's why we start to see a more higher clearance rates through auction is because there's contracts not falling over like you would usually get with private treaty. Thank you.